I'm excited to try this place out, especially because I haven't been here before. <laughs> I'm legit gonna cry, oh my gosh, okay. What's up you guys, if you're new, what's up, welcome back to my channel. And if you're not new, welcome back to the vlog today. I'm actually going to Georgetown. I'm going to meet up with my cousin. I actually haven't seen her probably in at least a year. She lives like farther down south in the valley where my family's from. If you guys don't know that, my family is like from the like tip of south Texas. Like literally like basically almost Mexico is what I mean. So if you guys know where like... San Benito, Harlingen, all of that stuff. I have family all around there. So she actually came up with her boyfriend to go to Austin. Me and you might go to like, I don't know, maybe a TJ Maxx or Target over there because the Target over there is way better than our Target. I think they have like, I think they started putting the Ultas and the Targets over there, at least the last time I was there. So welcome to the vlog. I am pretty much all ready I like it's hot outside so I just put shorts on and then I feel like this is my new emotional support t-shirt I don't know if you guys have that do you feel like you have that Trevor like a t-shirt that you're like obsessed with because you feel so like comfy in it that you wear it all the time I think this is my new emotional support t-shirt Trevor says he has one too so let me know down below in the comments if you guys have an emotional support t-shirt or even like an emotional support water bottle or like just like a water bottle you take around everywhere or jewelry that you wear all the time let your girl know down in the comments but I'm pretty much all ready to go it is 11 31 I think I'm gonna leave here at 11 45 because it's gonna take me about 45 minutes to drive there so I'd rather be a little bit early than late I actually like I'm one of those people that I can't be late like I hate being late it's one of my biggest pet peeves and I don't really care if like other people are late I just like feel like I have to be early to things Trevor's the opposite Trevor does not care Trevor will get there like on the dot tell me I'm correct he's like over there yeah I remember one time we went to the movie theater and I told him I was like hey our movie starts in 15 minutes like we gotta go and he's like well, we can get there uh, like exactly on the time that it that it starts because uh, the commercials take 50. I was like, I don't care. I want to watch the commercials. I want to sit down, like get in my like zone while watching a movie. <laughs> I'm like weird like that. I really like watching like the new previews of movies, especially at the movie theater. Trevor wasn't here this weekend. Trevor actually went up to Dallas for a couple days, so he's back. And he actually went to go watch the new Buzz Lightyear without me. He went with his little brother, but he's like, it was really good. Tell the people. Tell the people your opinion. No, it was awesome. It was I'm awesome. Gonna take you. Yeah, Trevor said he's going to take me. So, there's your little update of the morning. I just wanted to say good morning. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. And we're going to head out of here in a little while. I am about to head out of the house. I'm just, like, applying quick lipstick because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like lately if i don't have lipstick on i feel like i look a little flat i have this lip liner this is actually from nyx this is the nyx retractable liner in the shade natural and it literally looks like my lip color just a little better and i'm gonna put lip gloss over it i think i'm actually gonna do this one i think this is car melt this is also from nyx this is the butter gloss so i'm just gonna put a little bit of butter gloss on also i finally put a pop socket on the back of this phone case i definitely needed one because at least in my car i have a little pop socket holder right here i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like right here and so i always stick my phone right there just because it's easy if i need navigation my phone is right here in sight so i'm not like looking down at my phone you understand what i mean super happy about that and now we're gonna head out and we're gonna have a chill day i don't think i'm gonna vlog around my cousin and her boyfriend just because i don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable especially because i mean i took i choose to be on social media and i don't want to like stick a camera in her face so i'm probably not gonna vlog with her but i will probably take a couple clips of my meal and of the restaurant so let's see how this goes. I have a 45 minute drive. I'm going to Georgetown and then we'll do a little bit of jumping around after that. We 
just got here me and you we just got here i'm excited i'm gonna go inside in a little while her and her boyfriend aren't here yet but i'm excited to try this place out especially because i haven't been here before sorry if you can hear the air condition but i need it because it's so freaking hot outside today i finished having lunch with my cousin obviously that was a lot of fun i'm glad to see her especially because i had not seen her in at least a year i can't remember the last time i had actually seen her but we are now in a parking lot that has i've been to this target before the target and tj maxx i figured let's do a little shopping or a little like look around since i haven't been over here in honestly a long time it's at least had to have been like seven seven or seven to nine months since i've been over here in this area so i figured let's take a trip around go to tj maxx especially because we don't have a tj maxx near our area in colleen so let's go this way i went into sephora real quick but i did not see anything i, I was actually going in ooh, ooh. i was actually going in there because i have been wanting a uh, rare beauty blush I have the highlighter you guys have seen that before and I love that highlighter honestly it was very worth the price I think it was 20 bucks but I it I feel like it's gonna last me so freaking long okay we're gonna head in do a little look around a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. I made it home. I don't know if I updated you. Since I have been home, I actually have been filming some TikToks in the office. Trevor is playing video games and he's actually like cleaning a whole bunch of his gear. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Trevor is actually separating from the military very, very, very soon. I haven't really talked about it like on social media or anywhere, not even the vlog. Honestly, it's kind of stressful. Our whole like marriage, all we've known is like him being in the military. So it's kind of an adjustment. If you can hear him, it's because all of his gear, like his CIF gear, which is basically just like the stuff that he has to have for his job is in the hallway. So he's like grabbing stuff and also like cleaning it because he has to take it back. Yeah, I haven't talked about the fact that Trevor's getting out of the military in September. So it's like, like right around the corner and we're just trying to figure things out so if I don't talk about it on the vlog a lot it isn't because like I'm trying to hide something or because of anything other than just like I feel like a lot of people don't talk about their journey like transitioning out of the military like Trevor's transitioning out of the military a lot of people just like are either you're in the military or you're not in the military and you're out or whatever and honestly I don't know really what to say other than like yeah Trevor's gonna have a job change really soon we are still trying to figure things out the housing market is insane right now like literally insane right now we've been trying to look for a house but we don't know if we're gonna get a house we don't know if we're gonna like buy a house soon because the market has been extremely crazy especially right now during summer and we're just trying to figure things out most of the time i don't talk about the situation just because honestly it kind of stresses me out because there's a lot of changes going on in our life in the next couple of months like by december our life could look extremely different and i think it's hard because I don't want to talk about something and then it not happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So it's like, oh my God, I can say, I can come on here and be like, oh my God, we're buying a house. But like, what if that falls through? You understand what I'm saying? I'm one of those people that I don't like to talk about something unless it's happening already or like it's happening like for sure. Especially with Trevor being in the military, of course you learn like not everything happens the way that you're thinking it's going to happen. So it's not because I don't want to tell you guys like, what's going on it's literally because i don't really know what's going on like obviously we still have to figure out where we're gonna move and most likely he's gonna be working with his dad so it's like there's a lot of factors into everything so as soon as i know something definitively i obviously will be sharing it but i haven't shared a lot about like trevor transitioning out but i know that everything's gonna be fine of course this is a stressful time i feel like a lot of people don't talk about how stressful it is when your significant other or just you as a person is getting out of the military especially when you're so used to a certain life and a certain lifestyle when things are changing and honestly change is not easy for me even though obviously Trevor's been in the military for almost six years I will try to be as raw and real with you as I can be during this time. I hope that you guys still stick around even though my husband's not gonna be in the military. I hope that you guys can like come with me on my next phase of my life and just like figuring things out and all the new things that are coming. Like hopefully, I'm really hopeful that we will find a home because that's really what I want and that's what Trevor wants too. We wanna find a home even if it's a fixer upper we have always been down to like get down and dirty i don't know if you guys even know this that like when i was a kid the reason i know how to do a lot of like renovation type of things is because my dad taught me like my dad did every single yeah now that i think about it pretty much every single renovation that we've done in our house like he's done it all like he put a new roof on our house like all of this stuff and so I learned from a very young age how to like lay down tile, how to redo random things and thank God that we have our families, like my family that obviously has had a lot of experience redoing things in the house and then Trevor's family who is currently redoing a lot of stuff in their house. They actually just in the last two years redid their kitchen like pretty much by themselves. Also, I don't even think I mentioned this but very very soon one of the people from my past who I have been friends with for a while is actually moving pretty close to me and that's pretty much all I'm gonna say because I'm pretty sure eventually you will see who it is and I am so excited like oh I'm getting emotional ah I'm just really grateful for you guys like honestly truly oh I'm gonna cry <laughs> I'm legit gonna cry. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna hold it together. We're gonna hold it together. I promise. I just want to say that I'm so grateful. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I want to say that like you guys have been the best part of my last couple years. Just like growing as a person, growing as a woman, growing as like just a human on earth <laughs> and you you guys genuinely make me so happy and I'm so like proud to say that you're a part of my life and I've talked to so many of you guys I'm actually really close with a lot of you like through DMs we'll sit there and like text and talk and I just I want to say that I value my relationship with you guys so much and I'm very excited. I'm excited and scared for the next like phase of life. I, I was actually talking to my friend about it recently and I was telling her that like, you know when you watch a show, right? And there's new seasons and new subplots and new people are introduced like to the season, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm starting a new season and this is like I'm closing a season of my life and I'm starting a new season and there's going to be new plots, there's going to be new people in my life, there's going to be new relationships, new opportunities, all of these things and 
I'm excited and nervous and I feel like this is such a human feeling so that's why I wanted to share it because some of you guys' spouses or even if you're not in the military I feel like anybody can relate to this like feeling like a new season of your life is coming and I just I'm so grateful that you guys are a part of my seasons of life and I'm grateful that I have you guys on this platform and just like the bond so I'm gonna get off of my emotionness but I love you guys and I like truly appreciate you for being here and supporting me and honestly like without you guys I wouldn't get the really cool opportunities that I have and just being able to like connect with you guys is on another level and I love you so I'm gonna stop this clip here because I feel like I've been talking a lot and I think I'm actually gonna work for a little while on my computer but from the literally from the bottom of my heart I love you guys and I appreciate all of you whether you've been here a day a month a year or from the beginning like I appreciate you and thank you for being here and watching me grow because it means the world